Beachcombing for refugees in Yemen. It is astonishing, but this is where many escaping Somalia's bloody chaos wash up. Exhausted and spent after a 300 kilometer sea crossing at the hands of ruthless smugglers in rickety craft, they are forced into the sea. The survivors are pulled from the waves by workers from Yemen Society for Humanitarian Solidarity, or SHS. In 1995, the NGO first started fishing refugees from Yemen's unforgiving waters. Fifteen years on, there is no let-up in numbers, 19,000 so far this year, fleeing drought and conflict. Yemen's SHS has pulled thousands from the brink, and this year its life-saving work has been recognized with the coveted Nansen Refugee Award. Now, with their day-to-day -day at the sharp end of crises and conflicts, humanitarians don't normally have much to celebrate. But the Nansen Refugee Award is something special. It honors extraordinary work for refugees, an indication of the high esteem in which it's held are the personalities the award ceremony in Geneva attracted. I am proud and happy to welcome you all to Geneva. Martin Bell, the former BBC war correspondent, and UNHCR Goodwill Ambassador Angelina Jolie. Sadly and all too often, SHS also buries the dead the victims of drowning and ill-treatment suffered during the journey. But there is no doubt that there would be far fewer survivors if it were not for SHS and the team's devotion to humanity. We thank them. The musical backdrop to the ceremony featured the Colombian rock star Juanes and the Norwegian singer Sivit Hoyem. The sister band Sweet Rush added a poignant note with their personal story. This is something that's very close to our hearts because we are Somali refugees. We left at a very young age and, you know, we're, everything that's going on right now, we feel so far away from it and so just helpless and we felt like the best way we could contribute was with our art. We thank them. The Society for Humanitarian Solidarity's founder, Nasa Salim Ali al Hameri, received the Nansen Refugee Award on behalf of his organization's 290 staff. <laughs> من خلال عملنا أنقذنا أرواح الآلاف من هؤلاء اللاجئين وعندما ننقذ روح إنسان نشعر بسعادة بالغة وهذا يدفعنا إلى عطاء لذلك اللاجئ للمزيد من أجل الـ 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 إنقاذ مزيد من الأرواح طبعا الوضع الصعب في اليمن يؤثر على عملنا بالتأكيد ولكن رغم التأثير الكبير فنحن نحاول أن نكثف جهودنا لتقديم خدمات أفضل وألا يتأثر اللاجئين بذلك. The evening in Geneva was also to say thanks to Angelina Jolie, whose commitment to her role over the last 10 years has gone way beyond what's usually expected from a goodwill ambassador. She's taken on over 40 field assignments, touching down in the world's worst trouble spots, very evidently connecting with and touched by the personal stories of the people she's met. I want to express my gratitude tonight to UNHCR for appointing me the Goodwill Ambassador 10 years ago and for trusting me with the job, to the staff of UNHCR for welcoming me into their family and for allowing me to work alongside them in the field. <laughs> That human spirit is what SHS's work in Yemen is all about. For the refugees, it's a spirit of survival that drives them across the waters to escape a desperate situation. 
For the SHS workers, it's the spirit of humanitarianism that sends them once again into the waves beating on Yemen's shore to pull life from the waters. That's so